template so today guys i want to talk to you all about is patch 1.09 which was a 13 gigabyte size uh, patch that was released yesterday and it did have a lot of fixes for stuff however things the community wanted fixed weren't now the patch details were just terribly done there were loads of typos so what do i mean by this well if we take the fn scar 17 this had fn scar 17 ads slight increase in ads time reduction to barrel and bipod grip penalties so this means that the ads time has been increased meaning it's slower to aim down sight if you look at this tweet from dusk 118 who said joe seacott did you have to nerf the fn scar 17 the ads speed was slow enough already where joe seacott replied saying fairly certain that was a typo and it was sped up smiley face fairly certain says the c the co design director of multiplayer at infinity war that he doesn't even know what's going on in the game or the patch notes like shouldn't he have just asked one of the programmers hey what's going on here like and then tweet oh yeah we actually meant this sorry but no he just presumes he's fairly certain so we shouldn't really have to ask if it's the ADS time or the ADS speed and somehow this is considered a typo which yeah I, I don't think it is really and truly so what do they mean in increase ADS speed and reduction to barrel and bipod penalties is what they mean which is a good buff I personally haven't used the FN scare 17 but I definitely will now So the second thing wrong is they added in accessibility is the option to have sprint always on. However, if you look at the article Charlie Intel had about the patch notes, they said that Infinity War says this is coming in the next update. So why would you put this in the patch notes now? It just seems so dumb that this has happened with them saying you can get a nuke in a tank but then after the update came out, you couldn't. Now this was a previous update I'm talking about. And they have done that so many times now, it's just ridiculous. And you know, Infinity Ward are just idiots. Absolute idiots and amateurs. The third thing wrong they did wrong was they uploaded the patch notes to battle.net, which Activision owns, and the patch notes had internal notes only meant to be seen for the other developers so in the footstep audio they had this is a hot topic in the community and this is not the change they were hoping to see our core players want to see footstep volume dramatically reduced so like if they know the community want this fix why don't you just go and fix it like it's it's not that hard I'll tell you at the end of the video how to do it. It's so easy. And under game, under gun game, they had gun game is a fan favorite mode and we should see positive sentiment around its addition. Which this part I don't really mind seeing because they are kind of right. Like it is kind of a fan favorite. It's not my favorite because it just doesn't feel good to me. And this update was meant to be the big overhaul update but it really wasn't if we take the gaming revolution who said a big overhaul happening at the end of November which is about now and minimap to return to normal which hasn't happened and none of these things has happened but this is what people got this is what got people hyped thinking the big things were going to change in this big update if we take Ashton, who is an employee of Infinity Ward, says finalizing for the big update in quotation marks. Everyone is asking about it. So she is basically saying this is the big update, patch 1.09, and replies were great. Some saying, is this a joke? This is the big one? Wow, what a letdown, and many more. Now, don't get me wrong, this update was 
a step in the right direction, but I feel like with Infinity Ward, it's one step forward, two steps back all the time. And for the footsteps, what I was saying was they can easily be fixed. Now, all you have to do is just take code from, say, Black Ops 4 of the footsteps and just basically put it into the new one or just tweak it a little and then put it in. And I'll keep saying it, but Infinity Ward are not listening fully. They're listening about 80 to 70 to 80 percent to the community, but are not listening fully. Like loads of people have been asking to see a ranked playlist come in, which personally for me, a month in, I know it took a while for Black Ops 4 to do it, but they said they were going to do it. And Treyarch said they were going to do it, so they do shit when they say they're going to do it. Infinity Ward say they're going to do something, but they never do. I don't think they have said that they're going to put it into the game, which they should, but you know. It is what it is. It's still, you know, my my opinion has changed on the game a little, but not too much. I still have fun on the game, but only because I'm in like four or five mans. But if I'm playing on my own, it's just terrible. But yeah, that is it, guys. I hope you like, favorite, and subscribe. If you did, this is the end of the video. I should have led with that. Uh, I try to live stream either on Twitch or Mixer on the weekends and not this weekend sadly because i have a load of assignments and everything to do exams and assignments monday to friday of next week and hopefully then i am done and if i am then i'm going to be uploading hopefully more and live streaming a lot more as well either on twitch mixer or even maybe on youtube a few times but yeah all of the links to all of them, Mixer and my Twitch, will be in the link in the description below. And also my Twitter where I manly update. Go there and you will see when I upload or when I go live as well. But yeah, that is it guys. Thank you and goodbye.